Hey guys, welcome to channel Dev Kage. In this video, I'll show you how to use animated crossfade in Flutter application. So in my last video, I explained how you can create simple animations using animated container and it is useful if you want the widget to smoothly animate to new state. But if you want to have an animation or transition between two widgets, then you might find animated crossfade useful. As the name suggests, animated crossfade applies a nice crossfade transition when it changes from one of its child widget to another. Let's get into the code and see this in action. So as usual, I'll remove the text widget and add a animated crossfade widget here. As you can see, animated crossfade has four required properties and those are first child, second child, crossfade state and duration. So let's first set the duration for this widget as 500 milliseconds. This means that the animation will complete within 500 milliseconds. Next, we have to specify which of the two children do we want to display. As I would like this to change dynamically, I'll define a variable called flag with initial value as false. And depending on the value of this variable, I'll decide which child to show. This can be done by crossfade.show first and crossfade.show second. And I made a little mistake here. It should be colon and not question mark. Next, I'll set the first child as login and second child as sign up. So basically we'll switch between the login page and sign up page using this crossfade. And to trigger this transition, we need some buttons. So to add some buttons, I'll first wrap this animated crossfade widget inside a column. And now I can add two buttons in this column. First one will be a raise button which will display done. And as I am adding this button just to mimic a standard login, it will do nothing. The next one will be a flat button and it will show go to sign up or go to login depending on the value of the flag. Inside the on tab of this flat button, I'll put a set state call and inside that I'll reverse the value of the flag. It's showing an error for some reason. Oh, so it is because I marked the flag as final. So let's fix that real quick by changing final to boolean. And now the error is gone. So now all the basic steps are done. We now just have to implement the login and sign up widget. I'll create two new files called login.dart and signup.dart. Let's add the import statements for material.dart in both these files. So first, I'll start with the login widget. For this, I'll create a stateless widget named login. For a real app, this most probably will be a stateful widget. But for this example, we don't need that. Inside the build method, I'll return a container with the column inside it. The column will have one text and two text field widgets. The text widget will display a login text with font size as 30. And the next two text field widgets will be for username and password. Note that to display the label for these widgets, you will have to use the decoration property with input decoration. Similar to login widget, I'll quickly create a stateless widget for sign up to. The only difference we'll have here is that it will have two more text fields, one for email ID and one for password confirmation. And now we can go back to the main.dart file and import login.dart and signup.dart. And now if I save this code, you can see that the signup widget is displayed. It does not look that good. So let me add some padding to the container of signup widget. Let's also wrap the text widget in a padding widget to have some padding at the bottom and also make the main axis alignment as evenly spaced. Now it looks a little better. Let's apply the same changes to login page 2. And now if I click the flat button at the bottom, we can see an animated crossfade is applied between the two widgets. So that was it for the animated crossfade widget. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more such content.